When we had our first child, I remember bringing him home from the hospital. He was in a car seat, we brought him in the house, and we brought him into our bedroom, and we sat the car seat on the bed, and then my wife and I looked at each other, both at the same time, and just said, okay, now what do we do? We had realized that our life had changed. This was a big deal, and we were now embarking on a new journey. Bringing your baby home from the hospital is just a moment that you don't forget. You're gonna take a ton of video and pictures, so you probably won't forget it. But in this video, I'm gonna go over some new dad tips when bringing the baby home. What are some expectations that new dads have, and how do we deal with them? Hey guys, I'm Jason Kreidman and welcome to another episode of Dad University. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click on that notification bell so you know when our videos are uploaded. Also, it really helps us spread our message when you share these videos. So maybe you know a couple people that might enjoy it, please share it with them. As I mentioned, the moment of bringing your baby home from the hospital is special. It's a new chapter, it's a new beginning for you. So let's go over some new dad tips for this situation. Number one, clear your schedule. When you bring the baby home from the hospital, you do not want obligations for a couple of days. Maybe you took off some time for work, that's great. But the new dad tip here is to clear your schedule. Make it so that you can focus in on the baby and not have distractions. Don't have expectations that you're going to get a lot done during this time. These first few days can be a little chaotic. There's a lot of sleeping, napping, eating, and going to the bathroom going on. I'm talking about the baby, by the way. Your family and friends might be hounding you to come over and see the baby if they already didn't do that in the hospital. But everybody is excited. Now, this is an individual decision, but I would recommend maybe one to three days where you're just chilling and trying to figure stuff out. So maybe ask the visitors to come maybe day three or four. You want some time to just kind of get your bearings and get into your routine. And of course, you're gonna to wanna to talk to your partner about how soon your mom and mother-in-law can be at your front door. Now, it's a whirlwind when all this stuff is going on, so, just take your time and give yourself a couple of days to relax. Number two, don't expect your baby to be on a schedule. Within the first 24 to 72 hours of bringing the baby home, trying to get the baby on a feeding or sleeping schedule is just not an easy task. You can try it, but don't get frustrated if your newborn just doesn't comply. I know for our firstborn, the hospital tried to help us get on a feeding and sleeping schedule. And so that when we brought him home, we tried to continue that schedule and it didn't necessarily go as planned. It, it definitely took us some time to get into the rhythm. So just know that that is totally normal. Don't expect that you're gonna be on this perfect schedule right away. While you may want a feeding schedule, it doesn't mean that your baby is going to be hungry at that time. And the same thing goes for sleeping. You might have some schedule in mind, it doesn't mean that your baby is going to take that schedule right away. Number three, get sleep. You might be pretty tired from that hospital stay. Granted, she had it a lot more difficult than you did, but you might both be really tired. So my tip here is to try to get some sleep. If that means sleeping when the baby's sleeping, then do that for the first couple of days. As you begin to develop a schedule after your baby comes home, your sleep deprivation will be on a little bit better of a schedule. You'll regularly have that lack of sleep. You'll find out too that your baby wants to party from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. And then when you wanna be productive, you actually have to be really quiet because the baby wants to sleep from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. The baby isn't very concerned of what's convenient for you at that time. They're just doing their thing. Get sleep when you can and remember that you are in this for the long haul. Yeah, you'll probably be sleep deprived and a little tired, but that doesn't last forever. You will make it through. Number four, try not to worry. Now, this is easier said than done. But there's a lot of things that potentially you could worry about when you bring your newborn home from the hospital. Is the baby eating enough? Maybe they're eating too much. Maybe they're not sleeping enough, or maybe they're sleeping too much. Maybe they're not going to the bathroom enough, or they're going to the bathroom all the time. 
There's just all these little things that you start to worry. And I'm telling you, try not to worry. Because this is all new, you really don't know what is normal. And for the first few days, there really isn't a normal. I think that's what you're trying to figure out. But the new dad tip here is that worrying just isn't going to help you. Your baby may seem like they're feeding all the time, or a little. Or they might be sleeping a lot, or just a little bit. Or they're going to the bathroom all the time, or they're not going. Unless something seems really, really off, it's probably normal. Disclaimer here. I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. I'm simply telling you to not worry. You can still check on things or call your doctor. It just means to, to try to remain calm and not get so worked up over a lot of the things that we do when we have newborns. Number five, you don't need to buy everything. When you're bringing your newborn home from the hospital, there's a couple of things you need. Car seat, uh, diapers, wipes, formula if you're not breastfeeding, and a place for the baby to sleep and some clothes. All of the rest of those things are wants, not needs. You got uh, wipe warmers and uh, vibration seats and shakers and toys and everything else. Those are wants, not needs. I may be simplifying it a bit, but we buy so much stuff that we just don't need. Now making your partner comfortable now, if you're going to spend some money, that may be worth something investing in. Let her decide what's going to help her be more comfortable. Most people don't realize what they need until they see it or somebody else recommends it. But just because something worked for somebody else doesn't mean that it's going to be something that you need. I typically recommend that people wait to see what are the things that they really need versus what they want. Now. If budget isn't an issue for you, then go, go buy what you want. Number six, have a good pediatrician. Even if you don't need one, have a good pediatrician lined up for when you bring the baby home. You'll probably be finding answers online and looking things up, but sometimes it is really nice to be able to call somebody and talk to a human who really knows what they're talking about. Pediatricians have seen it all. Hopefully you don't need to make the call or bring the baby in, but it does feel better knowing that if you have to, you've got that lined up. Now, remember I gave the new dad tip to not worry. Pediatricians know this as well, but sometimes it just feels better to call and talk to someone and they can tell you that everything's going to be okay. I get it. Number seven, enjoy the present moment. It may not feel like it when you're going through it, but you will look back and this will seem like it went by really fast. You know, having a baby and bringing it home, it's a life changing event. Now, I'm not saying that to add stress or anxiety. I'm saying that for you to realize how important this moment is and how important it is for you to enjoy the present moment. The mindset that you have going into this situation is so important. You'll probably have stress and anxiety, but you're also going to be excited. Remind yourself to enjoy it. When that baby is crying and you don't feel like there's anything you can do, just know that it wants your attention. When you're up in the middle of the night and you're exhausted and that baby just won't sleep, realize that you are lucky to have this bundle of joy. This is probably the most important new dad tip in the video. We often forget about enjoying the present moment. There are only so many moments like this. You know, what you have control over is your attitude and your mindset. You're not gonna have control over the baby crying and when it's hungry and when it wants to sleep and all of the other things that come with being a new dad. You have control over your attitude and your mindset. Decide you are going to enjoy these moments and you will. You'll probably enjoy it more than anything else you have ever enjoyed in your life. Now, that's a lot of expectations, but it's up to you. You decide. I would love to hear from you. Did you just bring your baby home or are you about to? Leave your feedback in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, you don't want to miss what we have for you in our other videos. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click on that notification bell. Also, if you know a couple people that might enjoy it, please share it with them. We'll see you next time.